Wow, Dementia, so far this is really super cool. Yeah, super cool. All right, kids, now it's time for my regular calls to come out. So please give a big welcome to my friend and yours, Miss Velma Pham. Hi, Strangely Brown. Hi, kids. And this must be our new friend, Dementia. What? Isn't this supposed to be a show for kids? It is a kids show. Didn't you see all the balloons? But look what she's wearing. It's a PJ, Goofy Goofy. It's a slumber pot. Wait, this is a real show, right? I mean, this isn't some candy and camera crap. Johnny, are you out there? Don't be such a goof, Dementia. Hey, Strangely, want to meet our new friend backstage? Oh, kids, do you want to meet our new friend? How about you, Dementia? Do you want to meet our new friend? You know, the suspense is like literally killing me. Well, I'll go get him then. You want a drink? Hey, kids, meet our new friend, Stumpy Rube. Hello, children. Hello, Verma. Hi, Stumpy. Stumpy, you should say hello to our new visitor and guest, Dementia. Well, hello, Dementia. And hello to you two as well. Yeah, hello, Stumpy. Stumpy, you should ask Dementia about what she does at the World of Monsters show. Well, I don't know. I don't want to be rude. I don't want to pry. Oh, Velma, my dear, what do you think? Well, Stumpy, I think you should. Most of our kids can't stay up late enough to watch her show. I think they'd be interested in what she does. Well, all right then. Dementia, what is it that you do at the world of the weird monster show? You, you've got to be f***ing kidding me. Huh? Well, I guess what she does on her show is say dirty, filthy, naughty words. Naughty, 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 naughty. We should wash our mouth out with soap. Yeah, I wouldn't try it. Dementia, you didn't really answer his question. That's not very nice. <sighs> Fine. We show horror movies. <gasps> oh, you mean scary movies? Yes, scary movies. Creepy movies? Yes, creepy movies. Spooky movies? Yes. Chilling movies? Yes. Gory movies? <gasps> Don't be rude! Dementia, that was a really pretty scary movie. Yeah, it was pretty good. All right, kids, now we have another special treat for you. Velma? Thanks, Strangely Brown. Do you know what time it is? <gasps> Ooh, I don't know. Do you know what time it is, Dementia? Ooh, what time is it? It's show and tell time. And we have Burgermeister Friendly here tonight to show and tell us all about vampires, and more specifically, how to kill them. Now, we all know that vampires are important for the ecology, but that doesn't mean that they'll hesitate to rip out your throat and suck your blood. Now, Burgermeister Friendly. Thank you, my dear. Hello, children. What I'm about to show you is the most important thing you will ever see. Remembering these techniques could be the difference between life and death for each and every one of you. What we have here is your typical bloodthirsty hellspawn vampire. I want the blood, blood. I want to suck your blood. What you need to do is subdue the beast. This is best done during the daytime hours when they're asleep in their coffins. However, if you should be attacked by one, just wrestle it and pin it to the ground like so. Yes. You want to stake it to the ground with a wooden stake to the heart like so. Now, I know some of you children out there at six or seven have not yet had the pleasure of your first kill. But don't be squeezed. And you need to make sure the stake completely pierces the heart. So don't hold back! Next, what you do is remove your knife and 
remember, children, you should always carry a knife and remove the abomination's head. Like so. Or in the case of a pie, you can use scissors as well. Burgermeister friendly. All right, Dementia, what are we gonna watch next? Well, up next we have the short film Monsters Crash the Pajama Party. <gasps> this was shown during the spook shows of the 1960s when audiences actually interacted with the show. Like William Castle's, only more so. And in the second half of the show, you'll be able to see where this interaction actually took place. And if you're watching carefully in the first part, you'll be able to hear a line that's actually used in the opening of the World of the Weird Monster Show. Well, that sounds great. Let's watch. And now the host of Channel 666's Kitty Cartoon Hell, Strangely Brown, with an important message. Hey, boys and girls, Strangely Brown here, and I want to tell you about my new favorite breakfast treat. It's Boneberry Crunch Pops. That's right, Boneberry Crunch Pops is the best cereal ever. And not only is it nutritious, but it's also yum, yum, yummy. Check this out. Oh, that looks good, doesn't it? And look, every box of Boneberry Crunch Pops comes with its own real life bone. That's 273 times the daily recommended calcium all in one serving. Yeah, and every bone is pre-softened, so when you pour the blood in, it disintegrates into a chalky, marrow-filled, marshmallow goodness. Oh, that's good! But wait, there's more. That's right. As scrumptious as these bones are, you don't have to eat them, because they're also a prize! That's right, kids. And if you buy enough boxes of Boneberry Crunch Pops, you're guaranteed to get enough prize bones to one day be able to build your very own skeleton man! He can be your only friend. Yeah, that's right! Hey, Mr. Announcer, that's not very nice. Shut up and eat your cereal. Mm-mm-mm! Now tell them about the many varieties of Boneberry Crunch Pop cereal available. That's right! There's so many varieties of Boneberry Crunch Pops, you never know what type you're gonna get! Kind of like cancer. Ooh! Mine has raisins! Those aren't raisins. You know, Mr. Announcer, if I didn't know better, I'd think that you weren't my friend. Oh, come now. That's just the cyanide talking. Cyanide talking? Why would... That was Strangely Brown, former host of Channel 666's Kitty Cartoon Hell, for Boneberry Crunch Pop cereal available at a store near you.